Hi friends, welcome to tutorjoes.com. Now, we will see the concepts of the PHP. So, we will talk about the array. Array is indexed array. Array is basic. Array is basic. We store multiple values in the array. And array is used in memory space. So, we will use the array as the array. So, now we will talk about the indexed array. Now, first, we will build the array concept in PHP. So, we will talk about the array. Now, what I am going to do is create a variable and store multiple values and print it. I am going to change the array and change it. So, what I am going to do is, we will use a variable to declare this dollar symbol. Now, we will use a variable to declare the name as the array keyword. Now, what I am going to do is, we will use a function key. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to add two values. We will use the values to separate the commas. So, I am going to add two values. Now, we will use a function to use the final assembly. Now, we will use a function to use the function. Print R. Print underscore R. We will use a function to use the function. So, what we will do is, we will use the variable name. And dollar name. We will use the name here. Just save it. In this page, we will save the index array. So, now we will go to the browser and local host. We will save the folder in the index array. Just reload the page. Now, what we have to do is, we have to give values to the array. Tutor, Joseph, we have to give two values. We have to give two values. This is the index. Now, if you have to give the array, we will start the counting of the array. So, now we have to give the two values. 0 and 1. So, now we have to give the array. We will print this array. Now, if we add this array, we will add this array. Now, we will add this array. This is the same variable. We will add this variable in the square bracket. We will add this value in a single quotation. Now, we will add this value. Now, we will add this value. Now, we will save this value. Now, we will save this value. We will refresh the browser. What we have is that we add it. First, we have to count 0 and now we have to assign the value of the computer to the value of the index value. What do we do? If we add the value of the individual value, we can add it. And one more thing, if we use the array of the keyword, we can use it. Now, let's remove it. And what we have to do is we use the square bracket. And here. Now, let's save it. Now, when you refresh the browser, you will get the same output. Now, if we use the initial starting keyword, we will allocate the array keyword to use the array. But now, we will allocate the two types. We will allocate the single values, we will allocate the multiple values, we will allocate the variable name. So, we will allocate the values to the value. We will display the array concept. We will use the array concept in the database. We will use the array concept in the database. So, the array concept is used. We will use the looping concepts in the array and we will say this array is the indexed array. And one more, this is another issue. Now, we have three values in the name of the variable. So, if we display a particular value, we will display a comment line. Now, we have a comment line. So, now we have a comment line. So, now we have a comment line. And in this case, we will use echo. Echo use. I use that variable. That variable is the index value. That is the index value. Now, I have 1. Now, I have a semicolon. Now, I have to save it. Refresh the browser. Now, I have to print the value just as the value. So, now, I have to use the maximum. I have to use this. One variable name. That is the index. What do we need to do with the index? Now, I have to show you the index value. इंडेक्स वैल्यू ओड़ा उंगल का अध शो आजे, सो ना मैं इंदर एको यूज़ पनी पन्नो मोड़ पर्टिकुलर आ ओर वैल्यू मट्टो नम शो पन्ने तक आगे यूज़ पनी क्ला, सो इंदर आरे कॉन्सेप्ट यूज़ पनी ना मैं ना पन्ना ना मल्टीपल वैल्यूज़ स्टोर पनी ओर इंडिविजुअल वैल्यू फिश पन्ने दा इंदल नम्बो फिश पन्न Subscribe to our channel and subscribe to our channel. Thank you friends.